Hey, hello, you're talking about Quarrock. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at uh, some corrections, right? I mentioned uh, in another video that if you're a developer, you should use the highest level of encryption in your framework. And I mentioned that after pointing out that uh, RSA 1024, some vulnerabilities have been found in it. Now, almost every one of these videos, I'm like, hey, hit me up on social media or in comments. And there's a reason for that. Most people hit me up on Twitter, and most of the time when I get some feedback and some, some information, uh, there's a, something I learned, there's a new nuance, there's a correction. It makes, uh, you know, it's, it's a good way for me to learn and me to correct some of those materials. So, for example, uh, with respect to RSA, uh, it wasn't necessarily the encryption that was broken, it was the implementation within GPG, right? It was a 1024 bit implementation, there's a side channel attack, not the topic of this video, but the point is the cipher is still good, which is great. The math is still good, which is great just the way they did it. And in terms of it, the using the highest level of encryption available, the tip to you is a little bit more nuanced. It's the highest level of encryption that's available to you in your ecosystem. In, uh, in Twitter, we had a conversation about, well, for example, uh, certain uh, application instances in Amazon wouldn't support, like RSA 496 or 2048. That's a good point. Uh, I mentioned before that uh, at the moment, Pivotal doesn't support, Pivotal Cloud Foundry doesn't support TLS between instances. Your framework may, .NET of course absolutely does, uh, but the underlying infrastructure doesn't. So the, there's a lot of nuance there. You wanna use the highest level possible in your framework that's supported by your application servers, that's supported by your hosting environment, that's supported by your downstream consumers that's supported by your platform infrastructure service components. There's a lot to it. It's one thing to say, oh, you just use the highest thing available. It's another thing to then begin enumerating all the dependencies, right, within your applications and making sure that uh, you are, in fact, using the highest thing available. And so oftentimes we try to just get things done, right? And it's easier to use a lower setting encryption, which we know will be most likely supported, than use a higher level encryption break stuff and then have to step it down, test, step it down, test, step it down, test. But if you do use the higher level, if you do take that time, if you do do the analysis, right, the software composition analysis of what's in your app and what's supported on different levels, from code level to hosting level to platform level, if you do do that and pick the highest one, you can be assured that you're going to have a longer standing uh, security control because the weaker ciphers get broke first, right? The lower level gets broken. Every time a low level one gets broke, someone chimes up, well, it sucks to be those people. I switched to the higher bit a long time ago. It sucks to be people running MD5. I switched to SHA-256, <laughs> you know? So, uh, so it's still a valid recommendation. Just I wanted to acknowledge that it takes a lot of work and there's a lot of dependencies in there. Uh, other than that, hey, hit me up on Twitter. It's always fun. Hit me up in comments. Have a good one.